Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I will review the Dot OS for Redmi Note 4 which is based on Android Oreo. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So let's start a review with the customization options. So you get all the customization options in the Dot Extra. Over here you get the status bar, navigation bar, quick settings, recents, lock screen and system customizations. So let's have a look at them one by one. So let's start with status bar. In status bar you get the battery icon style you can choose from a variety of the icon then you get the clock and date customization status bar item traffic indicators and miscellaneous extra over here you can double tap the status bar to sleep and brightness control in order to go back you have to click on go back now in navigation bar you get the navigation bar that is you can enable or disable the navigation bar in quick settings you get the brightness slider quick settings tile titles you can disable or enable them then you get the quick pull down smart pull down and rows and columns in recents you get the recents ui where you can enable the battery a memory bar then you and you can enable the clear all button in lock screen you get the lock screen ui where you can tweak the lock screen items then you can double tap on the lock screen to sleep and the charging info and the media art in system you get the general tweaks that is the battery charging light and apps icon in toast then you get the hardware button customization and power menu customization and then you get the usual app oops which is from the lineage os so that's all you get in dot extra and you get the ui customizations that is the theming options in the dot ui center you get the light theme dark theme and black theme you also get accent color changer and you get some predefined styles over here then you get extract overlay from wallpaper track quick setting tiles color accent and enable the brightness one what does this mean is that if i scroll the brightness slider all the way to up then you will see that it changes to orange if you enable this then it will adopt the accent color as you can see it has adopted to the accent color so this is what you get in the uh, customization department of the dot os so let's talk about the bugs first and then we will move to the pros so the first bug that you will encounter is the dot os ota it just crashes when I press on it and the next bug that I have encountered is if I go to dot extra status bar clock and date and set the alignment to left then you will see that it does not adapt the color accordingly as you can see it's still in white whereas in the status bar it, sh it shows black but when I pull down the status bar then it just remains in the white color so that's a bug and there are some like smoothness issues while if a heavy app is running in the background then the phone lags i don't know why it is because the kernel is not so optimized or what i don't know but yeah there are lags when a heavy app is running in the background for example when i'm playing pubg and if i'm multitasking then there are issues but when i was on, on omni rom there were no issues so yeah those needs to be fixed and let's talk about the pros so the battery life is definitely good here are some of the screenshots on your screen so right now the phone is charging so yeah that's all and talking about the performance and gaming uh, here is a gameplay of the pubg and the performance is really good ram management is also decent 
and what i like about this rom is the icons and the amount of customizations the uh, developers has done in the dot os is simply amazing each and every or minor things of android has been customized for example if you head over to settings you can see a rounded search bar over here then you get the icons as you can see this just gives you the feel of the android p so that's are the small things that makes a rom amazing and stand out from the all the other oreo roms just look at the app icons over here they have been redesigned from scratch just look at this context it's just look amazing then you get the dot papers where you can download the uh, dot os wallpapers and all that so overall this rom is totally great but i will not recommend you to use this rom right now just wait for a couple of more updates and this rom will be fully stable so yeah once it is stable give it a shot and if you want to try out this rom right now then i will provide the link in the description box below you can check out from there and yeah this is all for this video thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video but don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i will be bringing a lot of content based on redmi note 4 in this upcoming days or weeks so stay tuned for that as well